Good morning, glorious underground spillway with some of the biggest, angriest fish in my area. How the hell are you today? It is me and it is Boo, and we are here to try to catch Boo's biggest wipey dipey ever, and maybe even my biggest wipey dipey ever. And also, there's some flatheads here and some other stuff and some other things, and we woke up early to see if they're biting before the sun comes up. Stuff and things, fuck. Oh. What is going on, you dirty old stash bags? It is me and it is Boo, and we are at our buddy Mike's place. So shout out to Mike for letting us come out, as always. Super nice guy, super gracious that he lets us come out here. So shout out to him. Also shout out to our buddy Clint Bailey for giving us the idea of coming out here early and trying to catch him before the water gets hot and they push into the deep water. But uh, yeah, Boo and I are uh, out here trying to catch wipers and uh, flatheads. And like I said, uh, they, get, they get pretty big here. This is a big lake and then a spillway right here. So it's kind of different compared to all the other spillways that I fish where the fish are kind of trapped. This one, they come up and down at will. So hopefully they're here today. Hopefully Boo can catch a wipey. She has caught one before. One, one like two pounder before. So see if we can get her a bigger one, see if I can get some. And uh, yeah, see, see what happens. We got like, we're gonna give it like four hours or something. It's supposed to be like hundred degrees today. So then we'll get out of here, but yeah, come along with us. See if that catch stuff and things, puff out. Hi, friend. Morning. Morning. We didn't make it as early as Clint, but this is early for us. Oh, man, I overslept. You did? I was awake, but I was just laying on the couch. I didn't want to get out of bed. Work sucks, man. Your work does suck. <laughs> Damn work, man. What do you got? Yeah. That's a wiper. Sure. That was quick. That's bigger than uh, any other wiper you've caught. That was fast. Try to stop him. You don't want him to get in the dock. Well, they're home today. <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad sign. It didn't look giant, but it didn't look small. Good job, Boo. This is gonna be your biggest wiper ever for sure. Yep, 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 we even got a net. We'll keep you posted, man. Right. Thanks as always. We did better than last time already, so you don't have to worry about us. See ya. Yeah, like a four pounder. It's your biggest ever. It's a nice warm up. Yep, they're, they're close. Let's get them up and get you some pictures. Well, that didn't take long. One of the target species. Definitely the angry of the two target species. And this is why I don't use nets, because it's screwed. Hey Boo, I'm gonna try to work on this a little bit, but this might be a plier guy, and they're on the uh, center console of the truck. Okay. Okay, I'll hold him so he doesn't make it any worse. Oh, well, literally just got done recording the intro and Boo hooks one instantly. She also has a bent hook, we're gonna have to do something about that, and I also got it unhooked, but she's too far away for me to tell her to not grab the pliers. We should probably bend her hook back anyway. I got it. But one of your hooks is bent, so we'll need these anyway, and we'll need them for later, but. Okay. There you go. Early morning wipey. I'll get you some pictures, and then I can hold your camera, and you can get some pretty footage. Okay. And stuff. All right, boo. Got you some pictures. Got you a uh, early morning wipey dipey. What do you got to say? Look at his tongue. He's got a weird tongue. Looks like he's been hooked before or something. Oh yeah, got an Anyway, he is the target species. He's kind of smaller, but. There you go. Bye, bud. Pow. Alrighty, well, good work, Boo. I might have to take off this stupid light I put under my GoPro already, because we don't really need it, but for now it can stay. Now I'm climbing down here. Boo caught hers on a blade bait, 3 8 ounce. Blue and silver. I'm gonna try a swimming bait, just cause. Do something a little slower, something a little different, but at some point, I will definitely be putting a blade bait on because that's just my confidence bait. If you're new here. If you're old here, you already know that. But yeah, just gonna kinda bounce it on the bottom. Chance at walleyes. Got one. Got one, yes, first cast. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Instant, thumped it on the swim bait. Not a walleye. I'm gonna need the net. 
Chance at walleyes, chance at largemouth. Chance at wipies. <laughs> oh, this is glorious. I can, I can do it, he's not that big. You keep casting, they're around. Oh yeah, I just got it. <laughs> yeah. We're, you're, you're good. Yeah, you're good, you go cast. I thought he was like a 10 pounder. He wasn't. He just hit like a 10 pounder. Basically a clone of yours. Maybe a little bigger, yeah. I was gonna say it, but I didn't wanna sound like a dick. He's just a little healthier, I think. On the swim bait, first cast. All right, maybe I don't need the blade bait today. Yeah, he's he's got a little, little bit on you, boo, but not much. Cool. Well, we won't big camera him, because they're obviously here. We'll just get him back real fast, because he's not super giant, but wipey dipey. Wipey dipey. Later, bud. First cast. <laughs> Hell yeah. And stuff. All right, so we did something a little different for once. Instead of running 10 pound, 10 pound braid, we put some heavier stuff on. We got 17 pound fluoro and 20 pound braid just for this trip because uh, the docks and stuff. If we hook one of the big wipers, they are definitely gonna try to kick our arse. And occasionally flatheads show up, so. We beefed up our gear a notch. Didn't really need it for that little bud, but we might need it if we get a big bud. And this is my favorite swim bait for flatheads, so it really could happen, but. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. Two right off the bat. Not exactly the size we're after, but wipies of any size are definitely fun. We'll keep casting, see if we can get another one or something else and yeah go from there i didn't expect it to happen that quick weird crazy underwater spillway is producing producing nice let's do it again land stuff there was one there's right there boo cast over there there was like four of them real fast at the surface there was like four of them they just blew up just keep casting down that side over there they just went ballistic. Kind of wish I brought my plopper rod, but I didn't. But I really kind of wish I had it. Might not be the most effective bait for him, but I bet I could maybe get one to bite it. But who knows? We don't have it, so no point in speculating. Oh my gosh. One just blew up right here. I just had one bite it right here. Oh, Jesus! Did you see that? It about stole my pole. Yeah, I keep casting down that side. I might regret this, but I'm gonna throw the blade bait on 10 pound test to see what happens. One just blew up at my feet again. Got one. Ah, it came off! <laughs> Uh, it wasn't small. They're everywhere, boo. Keep throwing down those rocks. You got one? Holy shit. <laughs> They're going ballistic. Absolutely ballistic. We got to catch the next one, boo. Oh, I got one. I got one. Oh, shit. <laughs> we didn't catch the next one, boo. <laughs> They just weren't biting the little swimmy deal very good, but I wish they were, because I could keep them hooked on the swimmy deal. This is crazy though, absolutely crazy. They are blowing up at my feet too, but I don't. I just don't know how to get them to bite. We'll figure out how to get them to bite though. Oh gosh, I think that was a bite. Right now we're just not executing, or they aren't getting it as well or something, or a combo combo deal but <clears throat> they're here in a big way and they're eating holy shit did you see that we'll figure out how to catch them eventually but there's some right here at my feet got one of the tiny ones 
Yeah, that's a yellow bass, I think. It really looks like a wiper, but I don't think they just stock wipers and wipers don't spawn. So with that being taken into consideration, it's probably a yellow bass. But I'm gonna cycle through some lures because we see them everywhere. We're just not catching them. There's one right there. Might try a jerk bait or a spook or something while it's still kind of dark, but a few more casts of the blade bait and I'm gonna start cycling. Oh gosh. I don't know if it was a wipey or not. It sure seemed aggressive enough. And so are the yellow bass, or whatever they are. Still comment down below. I'm not sure if that's a yellow bass or a wiper or what. I know it's not a white bass because there's no white bass in the lake. And it has broken lines, but looks like a yellow bass, but it's not yellow. So I'm not sure what it is. One just blew up down there. They're still around. The one just blew up right here. <laughs> oh, got one, got one, got one, got one, got one, got one. They're back. <laughs> right there in the current. Bud. I'm recording. It's been a long time. That's like a gold bud. I think we got a school of smaller ones coming through, but that was intense. One blew up at the dock, one blew up here, and then here, and then I caught one. Just a baby, but he pulled line. A little fatter than some of the uh, bigger, longer ones. Definitely up here feeding. I guess he's not that fat. What am I talking about? Some of them can kind of be grotesquely skinny though. Pretty fish. Slowed down there for a uh, half an hour, but they started blowing up and then I caught one. So they're back for now at least. The old Pulsar swimming bait, getting her done. And stuff. You got one. Yep. <laughs> Nice. Did you smoke it? Nice, boo. Wipey number four. We ain't getting any of the super giants, but we love wipeys around here. Boo's third wipey ever. So proud. Boo Berto is using a divine underspin and a divine swim bait. If you are interested in purchasing things of that nature, discount code stash on sixcentsfishing.com. That has been your daily, weekly, monthly advertising announcement on this channel. If you would like to help support the channel, head on over there and pick you some up. Even though I'm not currently using one, I might tie one on now and stuff. A little shad bud got blown up on the rocks. I'll put them on my jig head and see if I can't catch one. Show you what they're eating though. There's been times that we've came here and I've caught giant shads. But I don't think those are here today, but these guys are. So I'll try this for a little bit. I needed to switch my swim bait anyway. And uh, yeah, we'll give this a whirl. Not really gonna have much action, but wipers like cut bait too. And this is kind of in between. I can just pop it along. I'd imagine it's not gonna last very many casts though, but we'll try it. Can't pass up an opportunity like a shad just on the ground. So we'll just kind of dangle it in the current, cast occasionally, and see if we can't piss one, piss one off. Piss, piss to one, piss one off. If it doesn't work, this will be the last we talk about it. And stuff. Large mouth, that's a good one. That's a good one. That is a good one. I'm coming. Boo's got like a three pound largey. That thing jumped like right in front of me. Ah, it might be three pounds, huh? I was wondering when those boogers are gonna show up. Your favorite fish in the world, Boo. A bass fish. Underspin again? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Good work. I'm gonna go throw my shad again. That was cool, it like jumped right in front of me. There's hope for us after all. All right, back to shadding. Maybe the big ones just want the real thing or something. Got one. 
Got one on the shad. Seems bigger. There's more too, boo. Throw over here. There's like five of them. If you get another shad, I want it, but there's there's a lot. What? Huh? Snacks? Uh, do I want the net? Uh, maybe it's the biggest one of the day. I should be okay though. You just keep casting. Don't worry about me. Oh, oh bud. I might actually want a picture for Instagram though. It's pretty big. Never mind, I don't. He's about the same size as the first two. Hill. Yes. On the Chad. He sure did put on a Chad, boo. <laughs> If you get any shads, I want them. That was intense. Intense. All right, swim bait for now. If we get a shad, you know what's happening. At this point, I've yapped enough. They're back. We're just gonna do our best to beat the brakes off them. Head on home. All righty, well, things kind of slowed down a bit. These are all the lures I tried today that uh, some of them worked, some of them didn't. This guy worked pretty well. Boo caught one on this underspin and yeah, missed a few on the blade bait. I think I was more running into them though, but second I put on shad, it got hammered. I think we're gonna get a net for the next time that we come over. Man, I have to close this, open this box all over again and stuff. Oh well. But uh, yeah, I think we're gonna get a different net next time, but you guys should be grateful that I even brought a net because I never do, or I should be grateful because it actually came in handy. But we're gonna get a net with smaller little holes in it, so maybe we can get uh, even more shad next time we come. That might be the play most of the time unless we uh, come early morning and they're eating lures, but I'm going to figure out all my tackle and stuff. I will link Boo's channel down below. Um, she's going to be making a video from here as well, and I probably left out some of her fish because we caught a lot. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. Definitely appreciate you guys watching. You guys are awesome. Thank you for letting me do this every day. Shout out to Mike and Clint. They're both awesome as well, and uh, yeah, see you soon. Stuff and things, but...